How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boy Light Hobby Time. Today I'm going to be making a diorama from the fifth episode of the second season of The Mandalorian. I started by measuring out the base and planning out the layout for the little platform that runs over the pond. I'm also going to have these little lights integrated. There's the lanterns on the water. So I've used some little styrene tubes for those. And I'm going to be repurposing this battery box that I got from Pixie Lights in my last build. I used styrene for the platforms at either end and for the walkway across the middle. For the base, I cut out a piece of foam core. I peeled the paper off so it would be easier to work with but this will be the border of the pond. I tapered off the inside edge of the foam to give it more of a natural slope down to the water. Cut out each of the posts for the lanterns from the styrene tube and I sanded the ends to make them all flat. I pre-drilled all the holes for the wiring and I hot glued all of the posts in place. The hot glue will help keep the epoxy from leaking out when I pour that later. I added some foam rocks and decided on the placement for my trees. How they came wasn't perfect, but after a little reshaping, I got them to look how I wanted them to. For the building that sits at the end of the courtyard, I used some pink XPS foam and rounded it off with a hot wire cutter. And then I gave it a nice sanding to make sure it had a nice smooth finish. I marked off the placement of the door and then I carefully cut that out. I also included a little slot just behind the front edge in order to be able to slide in a piece of styrene. Then use some other thinner bits of styrene to make the design on the door. I cut out some strips of wood which I made the door frame with. I also cut out a bunch of little strips that will be the panels that line the front of the building. Once that was in place, I mixed up some Mod Podge and paint to protect the foam from the spray on primer. I used Shaper 3D for the iPad to design some little water vaporators that sit in the pond. At least I think that's what these are. It's a very dry planet and she has a pond full of water so I would imagine that that is uh, what she uses these for. There is a cool app out there called Hero Forge. You can design your own heroes for tabletop war games and they will either send you a physical model or you can download the digital file. I did that for both of the base models for Ahsoka and the Magistrate, and then I added everything else to make them look the part. For the Beskar spear, I repurposed a spear from a Rider of Rohan. Uh, I felt a little bit bad about that, and as I was putting it on the model, the tweezers launched it across the room. I was down on the ground looking for it for a long time. I finally did find it, which was great because I didn't want to ruin another writer of Rohan. <laughs> After everything was primed, it was time to paint. If you're curious about any of the paints you see, uh, I will put all those in the description.
for the water in the pond, I mixed up some epoxy resin and I mixed in some black paint and some transparent green. I think it turned out a little bit darker than it needed to be, but the water in the pond is pretty dark, so I'm not too worried about it. I made sure all the resin was evenly distributed before popping the bubbles with the butane torch. Then I left it for 12 hours to cure. Once it was nice and hard, I came back with some gloss Mod Podge. I put that on the surface and I used an airbrush to make the ripples look a little more natural. While the water surface was drying, I moved on to painting the figures. And once again, if you are curious about any of the colors I used, those will be down in the description. Originally, I had wanted to build this diorama at a slightly larger scale so that I could use some LED filaments to give Ahsoka some lit lightsabers. Unfortunately, the filaments are all warm white, uh, which actually means they're yellow. <laughs> so weren't very convincing as Ahsoka's lightsabers. Uh, so I shrunk down the scale, uh, which actually allowed me to include more of the pond. So it was an okay trade-off in the end. After the surface of the water was dry, I began adding the textures around the outside. For the grass, I used some Woodland Scenics blended turf, and I dusted all of that off onto a piece of paper so I didn't waste any. I then used a water glue mixture to seal down the grass and added some shrubbery. I 3D printed tops for all of the lanterns and I used a cocktail straw to diffuse the light. I added all the finishing touches including the wiring. I soldered all of the LEDs together. I cleaned those up and I hid the battery pack in the back of the diorama and I covered up all the lights with my little lanterns. Last thing to do was to glue the trees and the figures in place. I also airbrushed a little bit of white underneath the lightsabers to give them a little bit of a glow. Once that was done, I called it good. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a great week. I will see you next time.